Well, good afternoon, everybody. It's time for the next Homie Focus Group. I'm Chuck Vosberg, and this is my lovely wife, Pat. We're your friends in Florida. And today, we've got a wonderful, wonderful person coming in to teach us a lot of different kinds of things. We've got Kristen Eck from Next Mortgage. And you've probably heard of Next Mortgage. You've probably heard of Kristen Eck. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, well, wait a minute, Chuck. I Next mortgage isn't in my state yet. Yeah, you know, never mind that. Everything that Kristen's going to tell you today works in every single state. And some of the specific things that she's going to tell us about, she knows people in every state that can do exactly what she's describing. So I'm not going to take up any more time. I'm going to let Kristen take it over. Kristen, thank you for joining us. We're looking forward to hearing from you. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me on. I appreciate it. Um, we are fantastic partners of Next Home. Next Mortgage is a sister company. I'm sure, not sure if you are aware. We are half owned by Next Home and half owned by a very large mortgage company by the name of CMG. Um, CMG is nationwide, um, the largest privately held mortgage company. And so it gives us the ability to offer some in, intuitive things and innovative programs that are just not out in the marketplace just due to the fact that we are privately held. So I wanted to go through today, um, I sent Pat and Chuck the states that we are licensed in, but as they said, if we're not in your state yet, um, we are trying to get there. I promise uh, there's just a lot of things that go into getting licensed, not only for the company, but the branch. And part of that is having a, a person sometimes in that state to do business in that state. So that is the challenge in getting into your markets. Um, but we are we are really you know trying to get Get there. Um, I am in Florida. I'm in Central Florida, and Amber is joining me as well today. She's on our team. She's my marketing uh, business development specialist. And so we're in Central Florida, but we also, my, me and my team, our team is licensed in George, Florida, Georgia, uh, Kansas, and Ohio currently. So that is where we are. Um, but like I said, if you need somebody in your market, it, it, even if it's not with Next Mortgage, um, we are a clone. All of what we do is cloned to what CMG does. So there is somebody uh, where a CMG is in every state. So um, lots of changes coming that we've had over the last couple months, and I really wanted to touch on um, just how we're doing business, how we're getting creative, some of the unique um, programs that we have to help you do more business, um, both on the buy side and the list side, um, and just give you some insight to um, making sure that you're working with the right partners in your business. I'm sure you are, but um, some of what we do is a little bit outside of the box to compared to what a lot of other lenders will do. And we spend a lot of time um, crafting the offer with the agent and it helps us get deals done. It helps us get buyers comfortable with the payment. It helps them get comfortable with the cash to close, making sure that your commission gets paid for. Um, and so you need to really be working um, with a partner who's willing to get down and dirty with you and crunch the numbers and figure out what we can do to get everybody to the table and get everybody comfortable. Um, rates, you know, we were expecting to have trended down a little bit by now. We're still not trending in that direction. In fact, we're tre trending in the opposite direction. So we can't we can't wait on rates to come down. We have to continue to, to help people. There's people buying and selling right now in every market. Um, and we've just got to have the tools and resources for them to be able to get, um, get comfortable with doing it today. Um, so I'm going to share my screen and go through um, a couple of informational things to help just kind of get the juices flowing of things that we can be doing and helping um, you think outside the box when it comes to structuring deals for commission and structuring deals to get um, buyers off the fence to buy today, why it's cheaper to buy today than it is to actually wait um, to purchase a home. And then we'll go through some listing stuff. Um, so let me get to that screen. Okay, we can see my screen, I would imagine. Yes, we can. All right. So um, first thing that we're going to talk about is um, our 
lending advantage and some of the tools we have inside of our lending advantage. And again, wh whether my team is local to your market or not, some of these things are things that you you may just want to ask about um, because there's somebody in your market that can help with them. Um, so one of the biggest things that um, that's important is we offer HomeBot to all of our buyers that close. So if you don't know what HomeBot is, um, raise your hand or I don't know, do do an emoji on there if, if you know what HomeBot is. Okay, HomeBot if is a fan. resource to be able to to please sometimes I, I believe you can partner with that allows you you to send out uh, another way for you to stay top of mind in front of them um, and have a value. It's, it's just a way for you to stay top of mind to them. So if you don't, um, if you're not using HomeBot, we do offer it with all of our closings. Reach out to um, myself or um, I can connect you with somebody that can get you connected with somebody that's using HomeBot. Um, so HomeFundit is one of our other fantastic. Kristen, um, yes. Uh, would you mind repeating HomeBot? The, the connection was cutting out a little bit and, yes. and I know people want to hear about that. Thank you. Yes. HomeBot is basically a uh, a value add for you as an agent to be able to connect with uh, um, your database. So it basically sends out a monthly value report to your database. And it's just a, it's a nice way to stay in front of them. It gives you updates basically to say, oh, this person is looking in a different market or this person could be... Um, it might be time for you to reach out. Maybe they need a CMA because they're adjusting things on their, the value of their home and so forth. So um, it's just a great way to be in front of your database. If, you, if you're not signed up, it is it is very cheap when you do it with somebody like you co-sponsor with somebody like a lender or a title partner. I believe at that point, it's like $25 a month and you it's just another way for you to get in front of your database. Was that clear? Yes, that was good. Thank you. Okay, so Home Funded is another program that we that we exclusively offer. G and Next Mortgage offer it. So I say this, but it's basically like a GoFundMe. Uh, bad news. We've got we've got some cutting out going on. Kristen, I don't know if you can hear me, but it looks like you may be frozen. So uh, if you would, please uh, maybe log log off and log back on, and then we'll have a better connection. And in the meantime, we'll uh, talk about how great Kristen is. <laughs> so No, it's great. But HomeBot, I actually use HomeBot. It's a dynamite program. Uh, oh, I'm glad. Site. Could you tell us a little more about that? Because that yeah, sounds so very interesting. Yeah, so so basically what it does is it gives insight to homeowners um that are you know to to help them to see their value, what how much equity they potentially could have in their home, what they could do with that equity, things like that. It's a really cool program. Actually, uh Dave Caragiola here at the Howell office introduced me to it and I was like, I signed up for it. I just use it on my own and pay for it. And it's and I have a number of clients on it. I'm actually adding more because I really do love it uh, for the information it provides. But if you can co-brand it with a lender, um, it definitely helps with some of this cost savings for the program. Um, it, it What I find great about it is it does offer great insight for your sellers with regard to future plans with equity, like I said, um, refinancing, if they think like based on their mortgage rate, should they refinance or is it worth doing like a refi or it gives them some really interesting info that you won't get on most sites. It's, it's really, it's, it's fascinating. Well, that, that's I actually really even signed up for it with my house. Oh, no kidding. So yeah. uh, what is the fee for that? 
Uh, I think I pay. I don't remember off the top of my head. I can tell you right now. It sounds uh, like whatever it is is totally worth it. Yeah, it's oh my gosh, yeah, it's totally worth it. Um, yeah, no, I I I'm actually logging in on my phone right now to see what the rate the fee is. I forget what I pay a month. It's one of those. Krista, it's clearly, that... I'm, clearly, I'm not paying attention to the cost because I love it so much. Right. So, but it's well worth it. Krista had said, if you partner with a title company or a lender, then it, she said it's about twenty five dollars a month. Exactly. I think I'm paying like fifty a month because you're paying the whole fee versus the lender getting the information too. Yes. Hmm. Well, that sounds really good. And you it's know, dynamite. And Kristen started talking about the home funded program. And that, you know, that was really interesting too. And I'll I'll kind of give you a kind of the uh, foundation of that while she's getting back logged on. Mm -hmm. Is it's kind of like a GoFundMe mm -hmm. for the down payment. Mm -hmm. And the thing that's cool about it is that, you know, normally you can't do a GoFundMe or anything like that for down payment. That's that is not allowed. That's against the rules. But what they do is they've got a way where the mortgage company holds that money and it's it's done in a way that's legal so people can contribute towards it and uh, it's held it's it's really successful for a lot of people and you know we've noticed that a lot of younger people uh, really respond well to that because younger folks are are accustomed to helping each other out in that way and and a lot of times family members, that's a good, safe, easy way where they can contribute to it. And that money is held in escrow and safe and sound and and doesn't you don't need some kind of explanation letter later to explain where the money came from. And, you know, underwriting, trying to figure out why you suddenly got all this cash. <laughs> so, so that that's a really good program, too. Has anyone here used the home? Funded? The home fund it. We haven't, but I think it's a great I started, idea. I started it with um, a young lady, and that's what I was going to chime in and say. It also is really good in case there's an issue. So, like, if you're pregnant, um, a single mom, um, if you've got some kind of an illness and you're just wanting to get out of an apartment into a home, it makes it a whole lot more um, captivating um, and then the realtor and the lender shares it on their social media. And so all kinds of people, it doesn't have to just be your family. Anybody can give. It's kind of like when you see on Facebook that there was a fire and, you know, the people lost everything, then everybody contributes. It's that same kind of thing because you are able to write the letter in there for them to say, um, you know, my client has X, Y, Z situation and they need some help because at the end of the day, it's because the person doesn't have the down payment. So you can put, you know, make it as, you know, um, compelling or heart tugging as necessary to help them to get. And then the lender matches, I think, normally up to a thousand dollars. I think that's what next home mortgage can do. I believe that's what they do. Thanks, Patricia. It's so nice seeing you, by the way. We love you. <laughs> You're awesome. So how, you've used that before the home funded, Patricia? Well, we didn't close, but yeah, I started it okay. um, with okay. Richard here in and, the Texas area. And the process was fairly simple? Oh, yeah. Okay. That's good to know. And it just, it's a wonderful thought when you, because I, it's something that, you know, is very humbling, I guess you could say. Um, You can't be prideful because someone started a GoFundMe mm -hmm. with my cancer journey before, and I, I I was speechless. I mean, they had $18,000 and, you know, wow. less than six months. Wow. And so the same thing to just think about that with a person that's needing. So for me, it was just moving um, to have the opportunity. I looked at it that way versus, you know, some people that say, oh, they're begging for money, you know, so it's just an opportunity to help someone to actually be able to get into a home because you can have the credit and have the job and can afford to pay your mortgage and just don't have the down payment. So it's just a blessing to be able to help someone with the down payment. Yeah, you're right. And in a lot of people, like I know you're, you're the kind of person that would be hesitant to ask for help. 
But uh, and most people are like that. So since the agent or the lender is the one initiating it on their behalf, it it's not like what you described, like, oh, you know, help me out. I need money. It's, you know, us saying like, hey, let, let's all help this person out. So Harmony has a question. Harmony, you could unmute yourself. So, yeah, yes. Hey, hello, everyone. Again, I'm Harmony um, with Next Home Bellway Realty here in Stafford, uh, Virginia. Um, so when you do a GoFundMe page, some of that money is, I think a portion of that is paid to the GoFundMe um, society, agency, whatever. Is any of that money then reduced because friends and family, like is there a fee or something that gets taken out of in order for them to um, have this page? Well, we have the expert back, well, Kristen. <laughs> your your question. I'm sorry was about that. <laughs> perfect time. Yeah, Kristen is back. Uh, yeah, she... I'm so sorry about that. Uh, it it happens. Got connected. Yeah. So um, there is no. Um, so I say GoFundMe, and they don't like when I say that because there are fees taken when. Oh, so we lost her again. Oh, well, that's okay. Oh, I, no. can, I can chime I'll in. Answer, and I'll answer yeah. the question. Oh, is she oh, yeah. back? Uh, oh, no, it's wait, Amber. She's... I'm her business development specialist. I work with her. So yes. um, no, there is not. Um, it's, okay. it's their money. So it's not like GoFundMe where they take a portion. It is their money. And is that money then, can it be used for, that's for down payment, but do they have the option to use it for closing costs or whatever else? Yeah, technically, depending on which route they take, um, that the funds could be used for something else because it is their money. We're not going to take it. Nobody else is going to take it. It's their funds. So if they choose to go a different route, yes, they could use that for, um, you know, some type of repairs or something like that. But the goal with it is to get them sticky to you. So it's not for somebody who's ready to buy a home right now. It's somebody who's really looking right. to you within, you know, the next 60, 90, a year, whatever amount of days. And then, you know, it just keeps them in, in your realm. So they're, they're sticky to you. Okay. Thank you. Oh, great save. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. I'm glad you could just kind of jump in there and answer that. Thanks, Amber. Uh, sorry. And yeah. then I don't know if she's back on, um, but I can definitely keep going over what she was going over if you, if I you would like. I can see her. Yeah, we can see her, but I don't know if we can hear her. So yeah, yeah, uh, Amber, that'd be awesome if you could do that. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, you can are I awesome. Am here? Can you guys hear me? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna share my screen. Or Amber, did you? Can you guys give Amber the ability to share her screen just in case I, I get lost again? Absolutely. Yes. And yeah, I apologize. Well, that that we happens. Have... We we rely so heavily on technology, but it's it's not a hundred percent all the time. Yeah. But but you know what we do as next homies, we, we make roll things, on. We make That's things right. work no matter what. I think somebody had one other question on. They were going to ask something. I I just asked, will we be able to have access to the notes or whatever or the um. The replay shared, uh, the slides not the slides thank you the slides yeah I, I believe that she'll provide those for us and and of course we do record yeah. these meetings and then uh, post them once once they're edited and it usually takes about a week for me to get around to that and if you're on the email list you'll find out about it right away so if you're not on my email <laughs> list type it in the chat and i'll i'll add you on it so Amber, you have the ability to share your screen now if you so choose. And uh, I got to tell you, I've, I've only worked with Amber once, but she's awesome. She oh, thank you. is on top of stuff. And I, I really enjoyed working with you and uh, hope to work with you a lot more in the future. Likewise, I appreciate that. Um, so just to kind of jump right in on where Kristen left off, um, you know, we covered the home bought and the home funded, um, which are great programs that we offer and we can help with. But also we, our team is available 24 seven. We're always there. You're going to get a response from somebody. We work when you work. So, you know, you're drafting up a contract at 7 p.m. We're going to be available for you. Um, and then moving on to rate rebound, a lot of what we're seeing is, you know, people are hesitant right now with the rates and they're not turning in the direction we want them 
to be in, obviously. Um, but we do offer rate rebound with our loans. Um, and this is where they can do unlimited refinances with no lender fees from us for a period of five years um, from the loan. So with that, um, you know, it's to adjust and lower those interest rates. And then we give a thousand dollars towards title fees. So it's a great, great prop um, option for when you have people who are hesitant and they aren't wanting to, you know, buy with the rates uh, what they're currently at. And that program's available um, again in CMG and in Next Mortgage. Um, and it's giving, it, it's really just helping get people over the hump with the fact that they're like, oh, we're waiting for rates to come down. We're waiting for rates to come down. Well, so in our next, um, one of the next slides, we'll talk about why, why that doesn't make sense to wait, but um, this kind of just helps people feel a little bit more comfortable that they won't have thousands and thousands of dollars of fees to drop the rate and they can do it unlimited times for that five years. Yes. So um, winning offers, and, and Amber, if I get, if you just hear me breaking up, you just jump right in. Gotcha. Um, so the winning offers, um, yeah. So some of what we're going to talk about in the next two slides are what we do to try to help win, get your offers won, and the strategies that help us um, in getting clients off the fence as well as getting your commissions paid for. So that's just being a strategic partner with our agents, and that's something we'll talk about next. And then lastly on here, um, any of our teams under uh, CMG or Next Mortgage can do fully underwritten. Uh-oh. my phone here. Um, can do fully underwritten pre-approvals. So these are really good when you have a client who um, maybe a little have a little extra hair on the file, and I'm sure you know what that means, or um, somebody we want to do a quick close on. Um, we can do a fully underwritten pre-approval, which basically means that the only thing left to do uh, once we get a contract is underwrite the property. Um, so it speeds things up. It gives a lot of peace of mind um, and it just helps. It's almost like the next best thing to a cash offer just because they have been fully underwritten. So any questions on any of these things? I, I got to tell you, I, I don't think you could possibly understate how awesome the last thing you said is that people already yeah. being underwritten. I know. I can tell you from our personal experience, that is very, very powerful. And, and it helps people get their offer accepted because, um, yeah, you know, that's, that's what it's all about getting our people in a home. Yeah. And so with that, I mean, it, it basically, um, it, we take that and we make sure that the listing agent knows that that's been done. Because again, somebody who's been just pre-approved or fully underwritten as a pre-approval are not the same file. So um, not, I, I like to say not all of pre-approvals are equal. And so um, there's a lot of companies that won't do that because they're not contracts yet. And you're you're using resources, underwriting resources um, on a file that's not, uh, you know, in play yet. But um, it, it is very powerful. Um, um, okay, so we're going to talk about, so I want to do just some side side by side comparisons with um, the NAR changes and some of the ways that you can get creative in um, structuring your offers when it comes to getting uh, your commissions paid for compensation. I know it's compensation. Your compensation's paid for. Um, and if you're struggling with getting it paid for, how you can um, get that accomplished. So Amber, you're going to take us to... Um, I do not have a pulled up, so I'm going to have to go and that find like, that, unless you have it pulled up. Well, I do. I just want to make sure that uh, you guys don't lose me. Oh, but I'm disabled. Hold on, let me... Just be in your sent email. Yeah, let me go over here and pull that up. Give me just a minute here. I got to tell so, you, you're doing a, lot a great of what job. We're doing with the <laughs> with uh overcoming the well when, we, well when when we moved the date i had some stuff on my calendar but i was like okay i can make that work i'll just do it and hot spot it well clearly that does not always work well <laughs> yeah but no you, you're doing really great i i really admire people who can when when things go awry technology wise you know just 
keep it rolling and overcome. So you guys are great. It happens. <laughs> um, so what we're doing with these side-by-side -side comparisons with um, with the NAR changes is we're helping buyers see um, how it, it doesn't change things a ton when we either structure your compensation into uh, the financing or adjust the down payment. So this is actually a website that we create. We've turned it into a slide to show you, but this is actually a website. Um, uh, this is the, Amber, pull up the other one. I'm sorry, the comparison to. One, wait one second, I'll pull it up. Um. Well, where are you at comparison to? I think it's in your, yeah, yeah, I think it's in your, uh, it's in your saved, your PDFs up at the top. There we go. There we go. Uh, so basically what we're looking at here is, and we, we, we customize this on the website that's got an agent on there. And, and again, a lot of people all over the country, get that. Uh, but we customize it to, um, their specific scenario, and then you're on the page, and we go through this, and it, and it kind of just shows. So what we've got on the left-hand side is uh, a pre-NAR, the way things used to be, we'll call it, um, at a $400,000 price point with 10% down, rates at 6.5%, and our estimated payments, $2,793. Cash to close is about $52,000. So what if we can't get the seller to cover that compensation? Now, I will say in our market, we're seeing most sellers pay it. And I don't know if you're seeing that in your markets, but we haven't seen a ton of pushback on that. Um, but what happens when we do get that pushback or when inventory changes and in and, 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 and maybe it's a seller's market and they have a low? What we've done in the middle column is we've just adjusted our 10% down to 7% down. Okay, so we've taken uh, what was a 10% down loan to a 7% down, shifted, we just shifted some money a little bit to play around with, keeping the cash to close the same, and we've slightly increased the payment. So our rate's the same, PMI is a little bit higher, and we're financing a little bit more, but what you've got, what you end up with is a slightly higher payment and the cash to close, and it's still... Um, it's still a good opportunity for a buyer, even if they can't cover it uh, on their own um, and the seller's unwilling to pay it. And then what we have in the third column is what a lot of is what I see a lot of happening is it finance. So we do have we're not having issues with our appraisals in our market. Again, I know every market's different. Uh, most I would say 90 percent of our appraisals are coming in actually with quite a bit of extra extra uh, money in there. And so we we moved that, we shifted that compensation of $12,000, financed it into the loan. So our purchase price is now four twelve. dollars We've kept the rate the same and we've got a small increase in payment, but we also kept our cl cash to close pretty close to the same. So just three different scenarios where we've got you know, the way it used to be or the way it still could be today if the seller's willing to pay it, uh, how we can maybe shift funds around and think outside the box to still accomplish the same goal in the middle, and then um, an alternative to increasing the price to make sure that the buyer still doesn't have as much cash to close and still your compensation gets covered. Um, has anybody seen anything like this? Questions around this? Nope. So... The again, if you are meeting with a buyer and you're struggling to get to that finish line of like how to how to what to do with the compensation, this can be customized. But um, it is it's just a different way of thinking outside the box with your lending partner. Um, so the next one is something we're doing a lot of as well, and having a lot of conversations around why buy now uh, and uh, versus waiting. So um, we've got three different, this is again, something that we can customize specific to your buyer scenario that can show um, that a lot of people really like data and that's what this does. So this basically shows buying at today's rate. So today we're at 375 price point. Let's assume the rates at 6.875 could be a little bit higher today. Um, and so we've got a payment of about 2730 cash to close of 45,000. So the middle column shows, okay, your buyer wants to wait till rates come down. So we've adjusted the down, the price it does show the payment difference. It's a little bit better than $20 a month or so. 
But what we did in the third column is, okay, we know rates are going to come down, but when rates come down, what is, um, what's going to happen to price? What's going to happen to demand? Yep, it's going to go up. So what we did here is, yeah, you're going to have, they say that for every half of a percent decrease in rate, um, a billion more buyers are going to enter the marketplace, okay? So when you have a million more buyers entering the marketplace, what's going to happen with the price? It's going to drive up. So on this column, I increased it to 395. I left the rate at the lower, the lower place because now we've got lower rates. And what's happened to the payment here? We went up, we went up by compared to today's rate, we went up by about $17. So when you tell somebody it's actually cheaper to buy than it is to wait, um, you have to have data to back it up. And this is that data because otherwise if you tell somebody that it just seems like you're trying to sell them a house, right? <laughs> so here is the breakdown of, of what makes, why, that, why the numbers are what they are and it helps people really see it. And again, we do this a lot for people and it just helps them visualize what you mean by that. And then don't forget, talk to them about, and when rates come down, we've got you with the free refinance. We've got you, uh, we've got, you know, a way to help you drop your rate. Questions around this? Is this helpful? side-by-side -side comparisons? I think the great thing about the side-by-side -side is it, it really makes what you're saying real. Right. Yeah. And Kristen, did you say yeah, that this so is actually I, on a website? We actually put it on a website. It's not something that you would just go out and find, um, but we put yeah, we, we create, when we do these presentations, um, we create uh, the website uh, for this scenario and we put you co-branded and um, then we create this website and it's it's very interactive for them to see and look at. I understand. But it is custom, I mean, it could be customizable for any any client, so. Um, okay, so the the last thing I want to talk about is the listing side, because um, you know we all we all love buyers, right? But we also need to get listings, and so um, we we put together like our premier listing plan that basically um, shows what we have as far as list and lot goes, and I'll talk about that. We offer a bridge loan here in Florida and in a lot of states, so um, something to just find out about. But bridge loans, I believe, are going to be, um, you need to find somebody that does bridge loans in your market because as rates come down and there's less of a gap between where people are sitting at three and 4% um, and needing to buy a new home, but don't want to leave their three or 4%, we're going to see a, uh, more sellers come to the market, I believe. And at that point, you need to have some options for non-contingent offers and buying before selling all of that kind of stuff. So bridge is, I, I believe, going to be very important. We're already doing a lot of them right now. Um, list and lock and save. I'm going to talk about list and lock in just a second. Amber, I emailed you that, that, that document, just so you know. Okay. Um, and so with list and lock and save, if they use our list and lock program and they buy with us, they'll get a credit towards closing costs. And then we also offer an on-time closing guarantee on all of our loans. So as a listing agent and you're talking and doing presentations, you can feel confident saying, if you if you use a list and lock program, you're working with a lender that is going to be able to ensure that you, your, your home sold is sold in a timely manner. So what I wanna talk about is list and lock though. So List and Lock um, is a program that is exclusive for us as well. It's it, again in CMG and Next Mortgage and all markets. And it allows you to offer a, um, you, did you not get it yet? No, it's not come through yet. I'm trying to close out of the screen share because sometimes it can take it a little bit longer to load. Ah, okay. You could just go to um, my website if you want, because it's all on there too, but. There you go. I've got it. It just, Perfect. whenever I screen share, it takes forever to get anything open. <laughs> Perfect. I'm going to share it now. So basically, 
this is similar to like what the big box builders do. So they offer great incentives, lower interest rates on their houses. Um, you know, say like the 4.99s or, or I've seen some lately as low as like 3.99, which is wild. Um, and it drives buyers to their listings. So List and Lock is that same exact program except for it's for existing homes. So this is an example of a List and Lock presentation. I have agents putting this inside of their um, listing presentations. It could be used for a new new house coming to market, or it could be used for um, a house that you need to do a price reduction on, but instead of doing a price reduction, you look at doing something like this. It basically uses a seller concession to drop the interest rate, which in turn drops the payment. So if you were to take um, a 569 price and you were to give a 3% seller concession for a rate buy down versus just taking that same 3% and dropping the uh, price by $17,000, you're going to see that the impact to the payment is much greater when you drop the interest rate. So in that same scenario, we're going to give a buyer an opportunity to take a $500 less monthly payment. Okay, so what you get when you do list and lock, though, is you get all of the materials to compliantly offer that in the MLS, all the marketing materials, all of the things that that you would normally not do because you normally wouldn't talk about rate. You can do because we've we've passed compliance and done all of these things to make it compliant for you to offer. So I have a lot of agents going in on listing presentations and saying, here's how I set myself apart. Here's how I market your property differently in the neighborhood. And basically it allows for um, you to stand out and the property to stand out, assuming there could be other houses in the neighborhood for sale. Um, the other thing that can be done is you can build that, that amount that needs to be um that the seller is going to give concession for into the price. And you can see in the bottom section where it talks about increasing the price by 3%, you're still going to be giving a payment of $424 less on a monthly basis. So this program can be um, can be used in a lot of different ways, but we're finding a lot of success in offering this um, and, and having it as part of the listing presentations um, because you get all of the, the disclosure stuff that you need. You get a sign writer. Um, and then we also pay for a social media ad for on uh, Facebook for the property to be listed and, you know, marketed um, out there as well and advertised. Uh, so pretty unique um, and different. And again, can any lender offer this a similar something like this? Yes, but it's not, th this is what's, this is all compliant for you. So it makes it a little bit different. Harmony has a question, if you don't mind yes. answering. So this sure. is just not, this is just not 13. It's anybody who is offering Next Home or CMG as a, as the mortgage company or lender. Uh, for our clients. Is that correct? So, yeah. So this would have to be locked. It would have to be registered. You register the home essentially, and it's offered through either CMG in your market, or um, if I'm in your market, I hope I would get to offer it with you, but, um, it's, or it's, any, any next mortgage person. It's in Virginia and I'm not even for sure. I think we've been trying to get somebody to. I think we actually might've just hired somebody, but don't, I, I can find out for you. That would be great. Thank you so much. Yeah. But if somebody's not there with Next Mortgage, again, this is available with CMG too, so I can help find somebody there for you. Okay, thank you. Any other questions around List and Lock or? Oh yeah, see, somebody said we do have Next Mortgage agent in Virginia now. I thought you did, I thought we hired somebody. Uh, yeah, we did have one other question. Uh, Judy asked us if, uh... If she has a seller, is there a way to provide next mortgage information to the seller's agent? Um, I know you've got your website. I mean, it has a lot. Yeah. So this, I mean, so this is the, um, this flyer that's up right now is what I, so if you're going to go on like a listing presentation, you can get with a next mortgage person or you can do it on the website. Actually, it's not just private. Um, and this is what, per, this is what uh, comes out. And this is what you would put inside your listing presentation that speaks to the seller and what you to speak to them about. I also, and again, 
we just we are we go a little bit we, we go a little bit further than a lot but i i've been doing a lot of conversations with both the listing agent and the seller as a three-way call to help explain this because i know some agents are not as comfortable talking about this piece of it so well, that can be excellent. asked that you have for your loan officer that's helping with this if they're willing to go on a call with you Yes. And Mark Henderson also had a question. So uh, Mark, you want to unmute yourself and, and ask your question? So what we do out here in Michigan, uh, Patty and I have been working this way for a little while. Anytime we do put in an offer in now, we actually include the email with everybody's email, including the lender who we're working with to let them know that they, you know, they're pre-approved. Here's their letter. Here's everything. If you need to reach out to them, let them know. So they get the email as the same as the, uh, the, the listing agent. And then we also in turn ask our uh, lender to please give them a call to touch base with them too. If the agent yeah. picks up and they talk great. And then obviously if they don't pick up, then it could be a uh, loser situation. Yeah, that's a, a fantastic best practice. We do that as well. Um, my agents know when we get an offer or putting an offer in, I just need the name and phone number of the listing agent and I reach out sometimes before they give them a it. Anytime I speak to a listing agent where we do this, nine times out of 10, they're like, I don't have any any lenders doing this. This is amazing. So if, if you, again, if you're working with a partner, it's an easy for you to ask them to do something like that it's it's literally a usually a couple minute conversation and it goes a long way that's really a great advice any other questions? yeah it is so when you when are you guys coming into michigan um michigan is i don't know where we are on it I, a part of the problem is we lost in those states, I think. And so we it's hard for us to just go out and get licenses in states that we don't have a loan officer physically there. So if you have somebody and we're not in your state, I would say the best thing for us to do is to try to get with you and for you to set up a time to talk because there is a lot of opportunity being, um, you know, sister companies and, and um, having a lot of the same culture, all of that kind of stuff. Um, but it's it's just hard for us to get into a state when we don't have a loan officer there to talk to and to bring on board. So I can find out how close we are in Michigan. I just don't have any. Any other questions I can answer? Looks like we're good for now, Kristen. Awesome. I, again, I apologize. Thank oh, you for Mark bearing Henderson. with you guys on the technology challenges. Oh, that's fine. Mark uh, ha has a follow-up question. Go ahead, Mark. Okay. You said you were also partnered with CMG. Well, we're half owned, so we're a joint venture. And so we are essentially um, CMG, like anything that CMG has, we have, um, but we're also half owned by Next Home, who is our real estate partner. So we're, we're a joint venture, half owned by CMG, half owned by Next Home. Well, we're CMG. So like- Yeah, uh, we, have, we have CMG in Michigan. So that's kind of where I'm- Yeah, CMG is all over, every state. So I can connect you. If we're not there yet, I can absolutely find a good person. Like, I don't want you to just reach out to a random person. I, you know, I'd love to find a good contact for you, but I do have a lot of people all over the country that are fantastic that can offer these same programs. So we do actually have a contact with CMG. He's actually a first personal friend of mine. And I just didn't oh. know that the, 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 the connection didn't click until just now. Yeah. Yep. So all these programs that I've talked about, I mean, some of the things that we do, like, you know, in our team are a little unique, so, but as far as programs go, um, this is a CMG Next Mortgage program. We're not in Missouri yet. Um, we just got to Kansas um, and we are trying to get into Missouri. Uh, I believe it might be one of those states that we actually have to have a location in. And that's, you know, that's again, what navigating some of those different, different state rules.
Awesome. Well, so I'm going to send out what I'll do is I'll get some of these materials out because like, for example, this QR code here that you see on the screen, this gives you some more insight into um, what you get when you do a list and lock with us. So um, it gives you just, you know, a sample video, a sample social media video, the the marketing flyers, as well as what the sign writer would look like. So you, it kind of gives you some more insight into what that program is as well. And, and also, I'd like to mention that if you're not getting emails from me about the next Homey Focus Group, put your name and email address in the chat. I'll add you to the list so that you'll you'll get to know about upcoming things and you know some of the materials that Christian or Kristen would like to share with us. I'll email it out to everybody who I have on the list, and that that just makes it super easy. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I just took a shot of the. QR code and it worked perfect. Thank yeah, you. I, I was amazed. The QR code is so small on our screen, but it actually works. It worked. It picked it up. I'll tell you, those are amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. I, we Amber has introduced me to QR codes and I absolutely love them. <laughs> oh, they're great. And if great. listen, people, if you are not using QR codes, you need to be using them. And if you want to know how to use them or anything about it, call me, email me. Uh, whatever, just get hold of me. I'll help you out because uh, we rely on them very heavily here in, in our little real estate business. Yeah, so true. All right. Um, is there anything else that you wanted to mention before we close it up, Kristen? I don't have anything else. Um, I, you know, whether we're in your area or not, we have a resource for you. Um, of course, if you're in our area, we'd love to be a partner for you um, and answer questions and just see how we can add value to your business and help you help you grow. If you're growing, we're all growing. That's for sure. And Kristen, I can't thank you enough for coming on here today. This has been so informative for me. I've got a lot of good ideas and uh, kind of the litmus test for me is how many notes I've taken. And I got a bunch of them <laughs> on your slides. That tells me I learned a lot. So thank you again. This is the next Homey Focus Group. We meet here every other Tuesday at one o'clock Eastern time. Join the Next Homey Focus Group Facebook group. Well, that's a tongue twister. <laughs> and of course, this is uh, for Next Homies only. And uh, like I said before, put your name and email address in the chat if, if you'd like to be added to our little list. So thank you again. Thank Thanks for joining. Kristen. I'm going to stay on here for a minute. And, Thanks for uh, having us. Thank you. Thank you, Kristen. Thank you, Kristen. Thank you, Amber. Thanks.